Hey guys, it's Strategic here. I'm going to be showing you how to unlock your jailbroken iPhone. This is an iPhone 3GS, so iPhone 3GS running 4.0 OS, uh, latest firmware 5.13.04, and it's been jailbroken as you can see. I'm already running on the T Mobile network. So, what we're going to do is slide to unlock, and this is what my phone looked like before, before the jailbreak, and you know, adding, customizing it somewhat. So I did some customization just a little bit, did this yesterday, and this is what it looks like now. So this is just a simple theme. Uh, once you jailbreak your device, you will have Cydia on your home screen. And what you want to do is click on Cydia for you jailbreak. This time you load Cydia, it might take some time. Um, you know, it's also going to say loading data, and if you see any updates, it's asking you for updates. Always hit yes. Make sure you update. And we're going to go to manage, which is the fourth, fourth tab on the bottom. Uh, click you tap that and you want to go to sources so you hit go to sources and if you do to jailbreak your device you need to add this particular source repo 666.ultrasnow.com to your list so what you want to do when you go to this initially and if you're doing this for the first time this won't be here I right, already added it here and installed it so that's why it's here so for you to add it you want to hit edit you want to go to add and you want to type in repo r e. I'm going to use my computer. P O, and then the number six six six. And we go back to my keyboard. Uh, dot ultra snow u l t r a s n zero. Make sure it's zero, not o. No ultra snow dot com. You hit add source. And once you do that, it's going to say verify URL, update sources, and you basically just let it download all the good stuff it needs. And since I already have this, in, I have this installed on my phone, and my phone's already unlocked, it might give me some errors um, because it'd be like, you know, why are you trying to do this again? So we're going to let this load, and I'll be back once it's done. Once right, so it's done, you're going to see some call saying reloading data, and it's, it's going to say complete. So we're going to let this finish up, and once it's re done reloading data, it's going to say return to Cydia right here. So any any you know device or package you install, it's going to say reloading data, and after that's done, it's going to say return to Cydia. So you want to tap return to Cydia, and you're going to have uh, what you just entered right here with the little do not enter sign. So once you're done, you want to hit done, and now you have Ultra Snow's source installed on your phone. So what you want to do to unlock your phone is tap on that, and you're going to see Ultra Snow, which is what you need to jailbreak your device. And the check mark here just that I already have it installed, and you won't see that if you're doing it for the first time, obviously. So we want to tap that, and once you go to Ultra Snow, it's going to say, you know, this is all the. Uh, sorry about that. It's going to say this is all the stuff you can uh, jailbreak or unlock. And you know that includes all the baseband versions, which is basically all of them. You can unlock any device, any iPhone except for the four iPhone four, and that will be released soon, uh, which is supposed to be in a few days or so, or tomorrow. And so that's done. You and you want to hit install right here instead of modify, and it says modify for me because I already have it installed. So once you hit install, it's going to ask you. Um, it's going to say you know. Are you sure it might ask you confirm so you want to hit confirm and once you do that you're going to see a black screen like it said before it's going to say you know loading reloading data and once it's complete it's going to ask you instead of virtual city it's going to say reboot device so you want to hit reboot device and slide to power off so or if it does get frozen you can slide you know turn off your phone manually and let it reload so now you have a jailbroken device that simple as that. So once you, you know, when you turn on your phone again, you put in any SIM card and it should work fine. I put in a T-Mobile SIM card and I'm using it. But for you to uh, start using T-Mobile USA's data network, as in get on the internet using a T-Mobile SIM, you need to add T-Mobile's uh, custom APN and you know network information. For you to do that, you want to go back to Cydia. This is after you turn on your phone. After you unlocked it, you go back to Cydia. Go to Manage. Let this load up for, you know, however long it takes. Go to manage, and you want to go to sources, 
and uh, where was it? Hold on one second. All right, for you to uh, install T-Mobile's data network, you want to go back to what we did before. Basically, go to Edit. You want to go to Add, and you want to type in C Y D I A Zidia dot X E or oh, X S E L L I Z E dot com, and you want to hit Add Source, and it's gonna you know download all the stuff it needs and let it do its thing. So this is just give me some. And if at any time you're trying to download a package and it gets frozen and you see the screen for an extended period of time, just power off your device or go to the home screen and then, you know, end Cydia as a process. Because if you have, you know, 4.0, you're going to have multitasking. Cydia is going to be running in the background. So you want to edit as a process and come back to it. And just do it again. That's going to give me some errors. And once you're done with that, it's going to say reloading data. And you want to let that finish, and I'll be back once it's done. Alright, so once it's done reloading data, it's going to say complete return to Cydia, and you want to tap return to Cydia. And once you're done with that, you're going to have, you know, X sleaze or however you pronounce it there. So you hit done, and what you need to do to get T Mobile on the T Mobile data network, you want to tap this, and you want to scroll down to the letter S on the right side, so you want to hit S, see, S, and then you scroll down some more. You you're looking for something that says it starts with SU, so keep going, 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 right here. Supreme preferences, or you could use a search feature and type in supreme preferences. So what you're looking for is supreme preferences, which is right here, and the check mark just means I already have it installed on my phone. You want to tap this. And it's said modify, it's going to say install. And once you click install, it's going to ask you confirm. So you just hit confirm. Um, so make sure you know you install this. And once you install, it's going to ask you return to Cydia. Obviously, hit return to Cydia. And also, another thing I need you need, which I forgot to mention, but you can still do, is just go back to manage. We're going to go back to this. Once you install it, you know you're going to have that package already installed on your phone. So we're going to go to search and you want to type in winter board w i n uh, come on w i n t e r b o right here so you see winter board it's released by uh, jay freeman which is the creator of city as well and you want to hit install and it's going to say once you hit install it's going to ask you confirm and you want to hit confirm so once you have both of those things, you're done. You can go to your home screen, and you're gonna see uh, winter board right here. You're gonna see this, which is what you just installed is. So you tap on this, and you want to go to select themes. And once you go to select themes, you're gonna see this is gonna look like you know it's gonna be unchecked. So you wanna check Supreme Preferences 3.0, click winter board. And you want to hit respring. What respring does is just basically it's a soft reset. So whatever you you know checked or unchecked or which whatever you're trying to do, it's going to power onto the phone. So let me load up my program so you can see what's going on on the phone. All right. So once you respring, you're going to come back to the home screen. It's going to it might freeze up for a few seconds. And once we get to the home screen, you want to slide to unlock. Go to settings. And you're going to have something saying Supreme Preferences 3.0. So once you have that, you tap on that. You go to Applications. You go to Phone. You go to Cellular Data Editing, which is going to be when your first time you come in here, it's going to say Off. So you want to make sure it's on. Uh, so it's on. Okay. And then you go to Cellular Data Network and you tap on that. And if you're T-Mobile, this is the information you need to enter. Uh, the first one is going to be epc.tmobile.com. And once you do that, you leave the user and password information blank. And for the MMS information, you want to type in wap.voicestream.com. And the MMS, 
MMSC is going to be 216.155.174.84, and the other one is 216.155.165.50.8. So all this information is going to be in the uh, description as well. So once you've done that, you basically have your phone set up. So you want to go back, go back to, keep going back till you get to your settings. And you want to make sure you go to general, go to network, and make sure your cellular data is on. And you want to make sure your, you can don't, if you're using T-Mobile, don't enable 3G because 3G doesn't work with uh, T-Mobile. iPhones configured to AT&T's 3G. So you want to make sure all your information you entered is here, which it is. So you want to go back to the home screen. And what I recommend you do is just respring your device again, meaning go to Winterboard again, and you know just make sure you know just tap this once or twice, and it's going to respring. Spring your device. Once you have that, you should be on, be able to use T-Mobile's data network, and that's pretty much it for that. And I'll be making another video of how to. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> how to install Installus and uh, get free programs on that. So that's going to be my next video. If you like, please thumbs up. Comment, or if you have any questions or concerns or issues, please comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Strategic.